This is a Volvo XC60, it's a 2.4 D5 SE Lux, uh, five door diesel manual, all wheel drive, uh, 182 brake horsepower engine, 2009 um, on a 58 plate with full service history. Now it's had nine services and it was last serviced at 115,116 miles. The car has now done 121,671 miles. Um, and it was done in March 2017 and we're in November now. Fuel economy, urban 28.8, extra urban 45.6 and um, combined is 37.7 so a good fuel economy from uh, what, what's essentially a, a very big vehicle. 0-69 seconds and a top speed of 127 miles per hour I'll just take you for a, a short drive in it now. And, uh, I don't know everybody's gone past. Hopefully, you'll just be able to see that service uh, history there. Just say nine services and uh, a PDI. So that's that, here we go. Electronic parking brake, it's a manual vehicle. Sold plenty of these in the past. Always good drives. Nice driving position, as you'd expect from a Volvo. Feels extremely safe. does have a uh, sat nav display it's a uh, it's a Garmin sat nav and it's I don't know whether that's uh, actually original equipment or whether it came with that or not um, it, it may be just the fact that it's been stuck there and wired in it's got the parcel guard up which is uh, Kind of handy, like a, a, a load net to stop anything coming forward. I suppose would uh, double as a, a dog guard as well. Car, uh, it's actually showing it's ready for a service, but it's not, so they mustn't have knocked the light off when they serviced it. The multifunction steering wheel. We've got cruise control on the left here which I will try when we're out and your audio controls on the right. I think that's city safety on so it may have uh, it may break itself when uh, somebody walks out in front of you. I've not read the, the whole specification, I haven't got time today, just got a customer on the way and uh, losing the light, so uh, just had to nip out now. Problem is when the sun gets, uh, thanks for indicating, when the sun gets low down it uh, spoils the camera shots, it's either shining from the back and uh, low down and blinding this one or from the front and blinding these so I'll, I'll do my best so that's saying info there average speed instantaneous miles per gallon Average miles per gallon showing us 33.6. 25 miles to an empty tank. So a bit of luck we'll be able to get back before we run out of fuel. Nice uh, easy gearbox there.
two creeks coming from the back. Just seems to be the back seat and the uh, the netting. We've got power folding door mirrors, which are electrically operated as well. I think they actually close when you shut the doors with the remote lock in, they fold in. See the cruise control. Can't see. Oh yeah, cruise. That's put a symbol on the dashboard. Just get it to uh, 50. Just labouring it a little bit in sixth gear there, and that's it. So there's a, a plus and a minus button there. We'll be okay going up the motorway, so give you an experience of how it drives in the motorway too, as well as these country lanes. So plus, if I just click that for a little bit, that's it. It increases the speed as well. So uh, activate it with the cruise button, and then set it with the, uh, the plus, and that will be reset. And that's just off. You've got five buttons there. Unfortunately, really, I, without having the indicator switched on, there's nothing behind me. But uh, you've got your info switch there. You've also got headlights. Your main beam, rather. Your headlight switches down there. You could want turn that down a minute. CD radio. Steering certainly changes direction easy enough. Alloy wheels is finished in black with black leather and uh, sand, I would say that perhaps is. With uh, sand centre panels. pulls over except this chap. Audi driver. Real good turn of speed for a very big car. Bags of room, seats are like armchairs. It looks like we're going to be heading up the motorway directly into the sun as well. So uh, I'll just pull this down, try and keep the glare off the camera. The traffic seems to have a bit of the peered since I went over the motorway two miles ago.
this uh, fourth gear, plenty of pull there, plenty of torque. Front central armrest here with uh, storage space, cup holders. to our pre-sales checkovers, stuff that may not be picked up on a ramp is usually picked up on a test drive, such as wheel wobbles, vibrations, uh, noises, rumbles, door mirrors not working, although I suspect it's just lack of use and will uh, free up. There it's working now, yeah, that's okay. Just, just lack of use with the switch, that happens. Uh, that always happens usually on one owner vehicles because the guy gets in it new, sets the seat, sets the mirrors, steering wheel, rear view and it stays that way until he sells it so uh, hence they tend to sometimes seize up just a, a bit of lubricant and uh, moving them about sees them back to normal again says with his fingers crossed. It's uh, saying this car's got electric seats as well with memories. Yeah, up down, all that works. I'm always uh, hesitant to press the memory just in case, like I did the other day, there, uh, a Range Rover we had, his um, wife is extremely petite, and I nearly crushed myself against the steering wheel. So all I can tell you is the electrics work. If I can remember, I'll, I'll check the memories once I've got out. to drive. Engine sounds nice. Oops, we're swapping lanes here. Very nice, I wish you could have just cut in front of me. Um, roundabouts as you'd expect from a big four wheel drive. So got heated seats. Let's just try this. Yep. Yep, the memory seats work. <laughs> Hopefully. Oh no, there's somebody even shorter. <laughs> Goodness me. Let's so memory. No, number three is even shorter as well. We have to. Right, they, they work, they work, that's all I can say. 
you. What's the chances of that three short people in a big car like this? Very nice to drive, nice and comfortable. You'd never think it'd done 120,000 miles, but these days, uh, that, that's especially for a, a diesel engine, that's nothing. If it's been serviced and looked after. seats work. It's a dual zone aircon or climate. Parking sensors. Sometimes you get in the car and the leather feels really, really thin. The seats in this feel like an old Chesterfield and they also creak like an old Chesterfield as well. So that's perhaps a byproduct. The uh, This driver's seat is uh, heating up nicely. Yep, the passenger seat's warming up too. No noises, no nothing. Great car. With a good service history. Back at the garage and my customers have just arrived. Two. <laughs> 